right guys now turbo's out I've disconnected that water feed and I'll show you see how the silicon around the drain of the turbo I've seen a lot worse than that like it like a pinhole and I wonder why the turbo was smoking and I've also seen as well that's the drain like that they've put that much silicon it's fallen down and blocked this yeah I know insane but anyway so let's take these uh, nuts off here and then the turbo can just come off then you can put grab your other turbo and get get that ready to to put on just swap it swap it all over that's how easy it is it's not hard with the on boost performance turbo on the manifold so she's on there it's a 68 84 billet wheel ar70 comp cover so I've made made over 600 kilowatts of one of these on a stock engine too. So um, but yeah, my ball bearing cartridge in there, my 7063 turbine wheel, flapping mods done, actuators on. So yeah, this it's a ripper little turbo. This one still GT 35. So um, yeah, so basically you can see a very thin layer of silicon on there this one here just making sure i had it on the bench um yeah so just a thin layer on there a thin layer i've got a new gasket on there as well but just a thin layer don't have to go too crazy guys you don't want to you don't want to block that hole like i've seen before so um but yeah all the i've just cleaned inside this down pot uh, drain pipe as well so it's all clean inside and out so it's ready to go so all we need to do now Put it on here i'm going to clean this water pipe before it goes in get some degreaser on that but otherwise yeah ready to make some big boost and big power all right guys also i just put a little bit of pipe uh, rubber hose on the pipe so um when you put this back in as one you just then i'll, I'll spray a bit of degreaser on on this bit of pipe here just so it can just slip on nice and easy so when you see all the studs ready to go so you can just slide it all back in don't put the two front two in and yeah, you can just slip it the bit of hose straight onto the water pipe and yeah that's it all right let's do it all right guys she is on just be careful when you put it back on that hose will go over that bit of water pipe there. You just got to be patient, get it in the right spot. But once you get on all the studs, just chuck on all the nuts and then um, just tighten them up. Work from the center out. And don't go too crazy with the torque. Just here, because you, what I like to do is not put the heat shields back on. Then go for a drive, get it nice and hot, even do it a couple of times. It's not going to hurt anything if you don't put the heat shields back on. And then then get once everything's cooled back down after those couple of runs, then go over all the the nuts, the titanium nuts, 12-point nuts, and um, just make sure they're all snug. And, yeah, they normally, they're really good, the titanium nuts and studs. They, they tend to hold on a lot better. Not like the factory bolts where bolts just keep coming loose. The titanium seems to grab onto each other. But I've been using those for what six, seven, eight years or something like that. So I mean they're absolutely fantastic. Where they yeah, I reckon the bolts always come loose. But um yeah, so see my turbo down there and I will show you the trick for the the oil drain. To help stop it from leaking. Oh, catches 